gold traded in a narrow trading zone yesterday good thing is it has recovered from the low at 2145 and ended the day in green towards 2162 levels now what to expect today from gold how to profit whether it is going to shoot up or we can expect a drop again what is going to be our strategy we will see with the help of charts and indicators this is the first update for the day the next update will be released before the us watch that as well and thus subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notifications join the free telegram channel for live market updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort let's on the early charts you'll find gold consolidating in a range it is important to note that it has failed to break beyond 2162-64 zone it appears to be a good resistance zone and Yesterday, if you recall, I had mentioned 2162.5, 2164 is the zone where it is going to get the first resistance. Precisely, it is stationed within the same zone. The next observation here is the higher lows it is showing and higher highs. You see drop, retracement and possibly if it breaks out from here, it is again going to deliver a red candle from here. Possibility is there. But right now, if you look at for rise, consolidation and a breakout here on the upside of our upwards towards 2164 we can say a little more rise towards 67 68 and then 71.5 72.4 zone can be seen let's have a further detail look see moving averages have started to converge stock stochastic here are uh, trying to rise the macd is also in the retracement it has delivered the first wave trying to converge here a crossover may lead to a sell RSI is flat, trying to look downwards, trying to stay slightly bearish. Coming to two R charts. On the two R charts, very important to note, drop, retracement, drop, retracement, drop, retracement. It is delivering this wave here and it is staying in the bearish channel. So it is very, very important for gold to come out of this zone and specifically if it breaks out beyond 2180-85, that is a breakout because see, if you notice this is the rise this is the flag formation and if it gives a breakout it is going to be a stronger one right now it is very much stationed or positioned within a narrow zone the stock has taken a seen a rise macd is divergent macd is trying to stay bullish looking upwards rsi is staying flat coming to three on the three archers you can find out see one red candle second in making here taking support from 2160 i will wait for it to break below 2158 56 zone in order to confirm see 2158 and 2154 these are the two levels it needs to break in order to confirm further bearishness on the downside because if it drops below 2154 this time we can look forward to lower lows here which may take the prices towards 2140 as well be watchful the stock has to here near to overbought levels macd after trading bearish it is crossed over trying to trade with slight divergence and bullishness rsi is staying flat here coming to four r chart on the four r chart similarly it, you can find the waves here good waves good retracement channel nice fo flag formation here wait for the breakout either which ways right now if you look at the candles here you will find the preceding candle closed in red and this candle resumed its downward move possibility is there that it can try to move towards 2157 and if it breaks th below this we can look forward to 2154 Right now it is consolidating. The stock stick is overbought. MACD, look at MACD. It has seen the good drop here. It is trying to cross over. And this is a bullish sign here because see the rise here, retracement, a crossover here can lead to bullish momentum. RSI has dropped. Coming to daily. Before we look into daily charts, if you want to learn this art of trading, be a part of my 30th mentorship batch starting week 1st of April. Register yourself now. See, we focus on two things. First thing is to help you identify profitable trades with ease. And second is to teach you how to trade profitably with the help of trade setups so do not miss this this is a combination of these two and definitely it will help you become an independent and pro trader do join this batch and yes if you just want to trade as per the signals you can be part of my signals channel on telegram write an email or ping me on telegram for your queries related to the service and many of you have asked me to recommend a broker which is safe secure where you can trade uh, all the global instruments from across the globe, be it the US indices, be it the other indices from across the globe or be it commodities, gold, silver, oil, gas and any other instrument in the world. You can join the recommended broker and yes, it offers a self free account and if you join through the link, you will get lowest spread. So do find the link in the channel and video description and happy trading. Now coming to the daily. Now look at the daily charts. The preceding candle comes with a bigger tail and it is closed in green. It appears that it has already started to form a tail for the day and if it breaks beyond 2164, we can look forward to a rise towards 2170, 72.5. Possibility is there that if it stays bullish from here, it can try to continue with the rise. So you can buy here at 2164, but then 67, 
68 first resistance 21.71.5 21.72 the next resistance zone should be the ideal target on the downside now look at this one must not forget that the preceding candle had a longer tail it suggested that the price is failed to stay bearish but unless and until because see this could be the resumption of the downtrend where we, can, we have seen it delivering lower highs and lower lows so the current levels at 2164 is going to be an important level beyond which certainly little more bullish momentum may prevail a stock i stick rising from the bottom here trying to stay bullish while look at macd on the daily chart see this is important macd has crossed over on the daily charts and this is first red candle this is one important observation because see uh, as long as this crossover first of all has come at a slightly higher levels and you must notice rise retracement rise it has completed one full cycle now a crossover and divergence from here will lead to strong bearish momentum rsi just coming out of the overbought zone so considering this first buying entries are clear 2164 you can buy but then you have to be very cautious of 67 68 zone first target and then 71.5 72.5 the next target beyond which we can look forward to the bullish momentum carrying it towards 2180 and 85 chances for which appears to be less at least today on the downside a selling entry i will recommend is at 2158 levels but then 2154 55 is going to be the key level which it needs to break and 2148 50 if these two levels are taken this time i'll be looking at 2140 Take your positions accordingly. Do watch the next update before the US session. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Join my mentorship batch and signals channel. Thank you. Have a great profitable trading day.